Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mass Explorer. How to solve this nice and interesting algebra math problem, which is a times a minus a times a times a is equal to 12. So here we will try to find out the value of a in this interesting algebra math problem. Now looking to the left hand side here, this is multiplied 2 times and here it is 3 times. So the base is same, so we will add the power. So this will become a times a is simply a square minus here is three times so this will become a cube and here we will move this 12 to the left hand side so it will become negative 12 is equal to 0. Here we will change this number 12 to the sum of negative 8 and negative 4 so this will become implies a square minus a cube and this will become negative 8 negative 4 is equal to 0. Now here the sum of these two numbers gives them negative 12. Here we will change these two numbers to its exponential form. So therefore we can write this as a square minus a cube minus it can be written as 2 cube minus and 4 can be written as 2 square is equal to 0. Now here these two terms are in square form so we will combine them and these two are in cubic form. So let us combine the squaring in cubic terms. This will become a square minus 2 square minus a cube minus 2 cube is equal to 0. Now here from these two terms we will take the negative sign common and we will combine these two numbers. So this will become a square minus 2 square let us take negative common from these two terms, so this will become a cube plus 2 cube is equal to 0. Now here in these two terms we will use two different algebraic identities. Here we will use a square minus b square algebraic identity and here we will use a cube plus b cube algebraic identity. So here in this step we will use these two identities. So here in the first term we will use this one identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b and here in this one term we will use this cubic identity a cube plus b cube which is equal to a plus b times a square minus a times b plus b square so using these two different identities here, a is a and b is 2. So this equation will become, this implies here, using this identity this will become a minus b. So this will become a minus 2 times a plus 2 minus, no. Using this one identity here, this term will become, this will become a plus 2 times a square minus 2a plus 2 square is equal to 0. Now my dear look at these two expressions, these two terms here, in these two terms a plus 2 is common. So let us take out a plus 2 common from both the terms. So this equation will become, let us take out a plus 2 common. So this will become here, only a minus 2 is left. And here only this quadratic equation is left. This will become negative a square minus 2a plus 2, 2 square is 4. So this will become 4 is equal to 0. Now let us simplify this equation. So here we will multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis. So this expression will become implies a plus 2 times this is a minus 2 and here we multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis so the sign of each term will be changed this will become negative a square this will become positive 2a and this will become negative 4 is equal to 0 so let's further simplify this expression and rearrange these terms so this will become a plus 2 times this will become negative a square a plus 2 is 3a 
माइनस टू माइनस फोर एस माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो हेयर द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू एक्सप्रेशन इज जीरो सो हेयर आई द दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बी जीरो और दिस वन विल बी जीरो सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल गेट टू इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज ए प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो और और सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज माइनस ए स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री ए माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो Here first we will solve this linear equation. So here we will move this two to the right hand side. So it will become negative two. So the value of a will become negative two. So this is our first real solution. So let us suppose this is a one. Now here we will solve this quadratic equation for the other two solutions for other for the other two values of a. Now to solve this quadratic equation first we will make the coefficient of a square positive. So for that we multiply both sides by negative one. So multiplying both sides negative one, this equation will become here. Multiplying this side by negative one, the sign of each term will be changed. It will become positive and negative. So this will become, this will become positive a square. This will become negative three a, and this will also become positive six is equal to a negative one times zero is zero. So this will become zero. Now here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or by completing square. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula, first we will write the values of a, b, and c. So here the value of a is one, the value of b is negative three, and the value of c is six. Now the quadratic formula is a is equal to the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a now let us substitute these values here in the right hand side so this will become a is equal to negative b and the value of b is negative 3 plus minus square root of b square b is negative 3 square minus 4 ac a is 1 and c is 6 divided by 2a now the value of a is 1 So let's further simplify this. So negative nine times negative is positive. So this will become positive three plus minus square root of negative three square is simply nine minus four times minus four. Four times six is twenty-four. So this will become twenty-four divided by two times one is two. So let's further simplify this right hand side. So the value of a will become this is three plus minus square root of Here nine minus twenty four gives him minus fifteen divided by two. So next we can write this negative fifteen as three plus minus, and we can write this square root of negative fifteen as fifteen times negative one divided by two. So here we will split this square root over fifteen and negative one. So this will become three. Plus minus this will become square root of fifteen times square root of negative one divided by two. Now here we will replace this square root of negative one with a complex identity i. So this will become a is equal to three plus minus square root of fifteen i divided by two. So here we have two possible values of a which are complex. So let us suppose Our second solution, or a two, is three plus square root of fifteen i divided by two. So let us suppose this is our second value. Now our third value of a is a three is equal to three minus square root of fifteen i divided by two. So this is our third value, which is also a complex value. So finally, we have three possible solutions in this problem. One is real, which is a one is equal to negative two, and two are complex. A two is equal to this one, and a three is equal to this one. 